welcome back to my channel today i am tackling an organization project okay <laughs> so um i love watching marriage and motherhood um gia over there she's amazing and she kind of inspired me to start doing a better job i had been wanting to do videos like these but just never um really got around to it and this is such a big part of like clearing the clutter and getting closer to my dreams and goals and things like that is cleaning and organizing so i am trying to tackle one organization project at a time today i am going to be finding some space in my house <laughs> which I use every inch of. I'm gonna be finding some space to store my photography equipment, my electronic devices. I need to do a better job. I normally have cords everywhere and it's just not in a good space for me to pick up what I need and be able to use it. And a big part of my dreams and getting closer to them and um, what we're doing with our channels and things like that is being able to easily access my camera equipment and things. So this one snuck up on me while I'm trying to tell you guys what I'm doing. What am I doing, Brian? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what are we doing. I don't even know what video I'm in. What okay. channel? I don't know what channel this is for or what video it is. It's for our main channel, our homeschool channel. Our main channel. Where we're living, loving, and learning together where homeschool is okay. like. Okay, and is this the cleaning one you've been doing? No, I finished my cleaning video. Okay, the house <laughs> is really clean. And now I'm getting ready to organize my mm -hmm. camera equipment. Mm -hmm. So that it would be easier for me to access, so I can continue to film and do all the projects that I want to try and accomplish without trying to fuss through all the other things. To try to find Sorry. a battery or a charger. All that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Between him interrupting and the kids interrupting, this is my life, you guys. Anyway, like I said, we're going to get this done. I'm very excited to have a home for my things, okay? I figured that the best solution for me, I have a studio space out in our garage that we do a lot of homeschool projects and we... Um, and we have our clothing line things out there. All of our sweatshirts and t-shirts and things are housed out in our studio space. But I can't keep my camera equipment and my devices out there because um, the temperature is not regulated out there and I just can't have my expensive electronic devices and photography equipment out in that space. So the next best thing um, I normally do, I don't know if you can see that over in that corner, that's my little space, my little desk space, working area inside of the house if I'm not out in the studio space. Um, and so that works just fine, but it's just a desk. I don't have any storage. Then I was thinking about it and I said to myself, you know what Serena? I could make better use of my TV stand and it would actually be the perfect place um, because right now it's just holding a bunch of DVDs and things like that um, of which we don't use on a regular basis. So I can find a better spot for that to store those things and then use the three drawers that I have underneath my TV stand to house my photography equipment. I'm very excited. <laughs> so let me show you what it looks like. So this is it you guys, don't mind my treadmill. I have no other space for my treadmill, okay? So it has to go here. Um, but this is my TV stand. This is an Ikea, I forgot the name of it. I'll have to find it. Um, I just um, changed the knobs on them. Works just fine. But I have these three drawers here that are full of this type of stuff. So this is their Disney Infinity game of which they do not get to play super often um at best they get to play it on the weekends so this is really not the best spot for them so i figured i could find another home for these things and then over here just <laughs> brian's video games a bunch of yeah makeup yeah just random i really need to clean that up and then over here these are the jackets, the covers to a lot of our books. 
that I take off but I don't want to throw away because I want to use them for art projects or something and then a bunch of DVDs that we do not watch on a regular basis so I can find a better home for those things too so I'm going to be clearing these things out and using um, a few little organization things that Brian picked up from the container store so let me show you um, what I have this is what I'm going to be putting the things that come out of this drawer um, I'm thinking about using smaller ones to kind of sort them and separate them and then put them into this Tupperware and then store it in the closet. So that should work out well. Then I'll show you what we got from the container store, which I think will be a good fit for holding a lot of the equipment and then putting them into these drawers. Okay guys, um, I'll just show you what I got from the container store. I don't normally go to the container store because we're trying to be budget friendly around here in the container store. It's quite pricey, but um, Brian knew that we needed to start finding a better space for our photography equipment to live and he stopped by the container store and picked these out. I love when he picks stuff out. I don't have a heart to take things back that he found <laughs> because I feel like I'm the one with the most say in the household. So when he does come home with something, I try to incorporate it and keep it moving. It just so happens that these were really nice. So um, just a little bit more than I probably would have spent just because I don't know like I feel like organizing I'm in that stage where um, I used to organize tons of things at the Dollar Tree which is nice because it gives you an option to be able to get things cleared you know the clutter clear and organized so yeah I feel like the things at the Dollar Tree there's only a matter of time before it starts to become clutter itself I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way but I'm trying to slowly build up some of my organizational things that are a little bit kind of level up a little bit you know what I'm saying so um, I'll get things little bits at a time because it's like not a great idea for you to go and buy a whole bunch of organization things from the container store all at once but but i find that if i get one piece at a time it kind of helps me collect my little items of higher quality organization things and my favorite place to go for those types of things are normally ikea um so i have quite a bit of organization things for the kitchen which maybe i'll show you in another video um from ikea but anyway i'm getting chatty you guys um, what I got were these two so this is oh it's really nice quality and I really really like that and I felt like I really needed that for my camera equipment it is so expensive and it really does need to be taken care of and it's really hard because when you're a mom of three and you're trying to pull out your good camera um, while the kids are doing all the things it's just really hard to just develop a habit of keeping it around but keeping it safe so i don't know if that makes any sense but and i don't know if anybody can relate to this or not but <laughs> it's an eight section um square divider well it's a rectangle but it has squares <laughs> so um it's in this gray color it's this nice linen feel i really like it i really like it a lot so i got this one and then this one so it's the same deal same linen feel same very thick quality about four inches deep but it just has the three longer sections so i started with these and i might pick up like one every couple of weeks um, to add to it. Eventually, I'd like to have a cabinet that I can store my camera equipment that's kind of closed in by a door. So this is a good option for me, this under the TV stand thing, because they are old enough now. Now, if they were, if this was a couple of years ago, this probably wouldn't have worked because I don't want them to be able to get to my really, really expensive camera equipment but for now, they're five, seven, and nine, and they're at a perfectly decent age to leave mommy's things alone so I can put it here and not worry about them bothering it. And also, um, they go and grab things for me, and this will be easy for them to help me out when I want to go and film something. So, it's all a team effort around here, and we're going to use these in those drawers and see what we can come up with. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be a part of every video.
Okay, so now I fit everything into this Tupperware. It worked out perfectly. I just have my movies over there. And then all of their pieces to the game are over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe these drawers out so I can get some stuff in them. I'm going to use this Method Wood for Good Daily Cleaner. much of what I need to organize all of this stuff is out here and just I don't know just a mess to try and grab while I am homeschooling and mothering and it's making what I'm attempting to do a little difficult this is my little desk over here all my cords and stuff I just need to do better Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm really, really, really excited because I have been grabbing for my photography equipment. I have been reaching for my photography equipment and just moving over to this area has been super easy and I can tell that it's really functional right now. So that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. Um, so in this drawer here, I just have... Um, this container over here that I got from the container store and it has my hard drives, batteries, um, chargers, and my adapters, batteries, my GoPro, and my vlogging camera. Then I have my second camera here and this camera that I'm actually filming on goes in this space. And then um, my MacBook Air goes here. Over to the left is the kids um, iPads and I share an iPad with my oldest because I do all of my drawing and things on the newest iPad which is my um, belongs to my oldest and then over to the right I have my stabilizer my um, thumb drives for my photography business and um, I have mics I have my tripods um, this is for my stabilizer, another small tripod, a gorilla pod. This is to my stabilizer. Then this is my little carry bag that I can just come over here and drop whatever I need from here into there and add it to my bag. Now I just need to find a spot for my bag. Most of my cords are here in this little bag here, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm so excited. It looks so good. It looks so good, you guys. PlayStation over here, this is one of our MacBooks and then my other MacBook goes there. So just easy to grab and move over to wherever I need it. And this is right underneath my TV. I'm really excited. This is my little workspace right here um, whenever I am not out in the studio space. So I'm excited about this. This is just my big camera bag for when I go out on jobs. Um, and I'll show you what's in that maybe in another video. And I'll show you the rest of my bags as well. Mm -hmm. 